All right, guys, we have now pretty much covered all the fundamental concepts in React. The next step is to understand how React works with HTTP. In this video, let me give you an introduction as to how HTTP requests are generally handled in a React application. And in the next two videos, let us go over the basic scenarios of making GET and POST requests from our React application. When you're building web applications, you more often than not have to reach out to the server to fetch some data or send some data based on user interaction. And this web application in our context is of course a React application. But if you can recollect from the very first video, I mentioned that React is a library for building user interfaces. It is in no way concerned about HTTP. This raises a very important question. How do we make AJAX requests in React? Or how do we make API calls in React? To answer that question, first, let me tell you that React itself does not have a particular way to fetch or send data to the server. In fact, as far as React is concerned, it doesn't even have to know that there is a server in the picture. Remember, React components simply read props and state and render the UI. Therefore, to use some data from the server, you just have to get the data into your component's props or state. Now, if React isn't going to handle the requests, who will be doing that? This is where you will have to make use of an HTTP library. There are a few popular ones out there, but I prefer Axios. The fetch API is also a good consideration as it is more standardized, but for our understanding, I will stick to Axios. Our focus is not really on the library we use, rather how we use it with React. All right, with that introduction, let's get started by adding the Axios package to our application. I'm going to go back to VS Code and as you can see, I have created a new project using the Create React app. The command is npx create react app react hyphen http, which is the name of our project. Once you run the command, you should have a project similar to mine. The next step is to install the Axios package. So make sure you're inside the project folder and then run the command npm install axios. When the command completes, axios should be added to the list of dependencies. So we can now start making HTTP requests from our application. In the next video, let's see how to make a simple GET request to fetch some data and display it in the UI.